let's see uh, hope you are all ready and all geared up to play and uh, let me share my screen we will get started by invoking the blessings of god and guru and then of course by now you are i hope you are veterans with kahoot you know you need two devices to play and let me share my screen we shall get started so it's a good way to recap the concepts and revise it in a fun engaging way okay. share my screen okay so let's do our opening prayers and then we'll get started guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo ishwar ha guru sakshat par brahma tasmay shri guruve namah vasudev sutam devam kamsachanur mardanam devaki parmanandam krishnam vande jagat guru krishnam vande jagat guru Radhe Radhe. Good morning, good evening, everyone. So here are the rules for the Kahoot, which I'm sure you're already familiar with. You need to type in www.kahoot.it, enter your pen, pick a nickname, be as creative as you want to be. You don't have to play with your name, unless, of course, uh, you really want to. And then you get credit for getting the answers right, and even more credit for getting it right the fastest. So with that, Rahul, I, I think you can go ahead and share your screen. That way we can have people start registering, you know, logging in to Kahoot and are you able to share your screen? Or do you, you want me to do that? Sorry, uh, I didn't hear you. Let me do that. If Give me a sec. Let me check it out. Okay, I think I should be able to do that. Just give me a sec. I hope the video audio also plays. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, Natanji. Okay, wonderful. Are you able to hear the music also? Not really. Okay, I don't know. Should I share it or? You have people to join in again. Sure, you can. You can share it if you want. Whatever you say, Nitinji. Go ahead and share it if you can. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. Maybe people will have to log in again. Can you I see? think so, yeah. Yeah, so leave it. Let's do it this way. I don't know what's going on. Oh, so I shouldn't do it? I'm going to try it Are you able to see it? I think there is little bit sound, so it's fine. I mean, it's just not proper, but something. I don't know why it's not. We see a lot of fun spent today. And your sound is also not clear. Real Nathan Kashi. Is it better now? 
Yeah, it's better. At least your sound is better. Yeah, because I was playing the sound here. That was not coming clearly. So that's fine. Let's uh, see how many participants we have. We have 21 out of 56. So let's get close to the 40 mark if we can. That will be awesome. Nitinji, you're also playing. My name is Real. <laughs> Real Nitin. Huh? Yeah, it seems like Nitinji is also playing here. Yeah. Mm, you're trying to deceive us. <laughs> I'm glad there is only one that they're not multiple. So let's see how many people are able to join in and participate. I would encourage uh, all of you to do that. At least get close to 40 mark, 40 or 50. That will make it really competitive. We have close to 60 participants here, more joining. But you can always participate on chat if you, you know, find it challenging. Uh, although I encourage you to join for root, always make makes it fun. Okay, so while we are waiting for participants to join in, we are getting close to the 30 mark, which is very encouraging. I would like to make a few announcements. We'll utilize this opportunity to make some announcements. Uh, one is, uh, of course, the Diwali, the Grand Diwali event that is coming up. Uh, that's on November 4th. Uh, like I said, it is going to be at very large scale. There's going to be laser show. I think the celebrity is going to come here as well. Mohit Chauhan is what I'm hearing. And uh, uh, and then uh, there are a lot of other events. Vendors are going to be there. A lot of other, um, you know, festivities that go along with Diwali, including Ram Leela that is going to happen. So a lot of preparation is going into that event. And uh, it's an event not to be missed if you are in or around Dallas area. And it is going to be at a pretty large scale. It's the first time Radha Krishna Temple would be, um, you know, taking lead in getting that event organized. Um, we did, we we have been doing that for Holi, but uh, this is going to be at a different scale altogether this year. So please check it out. Help spread the word around as well. Come over, um, and uh, uh, you know, it, it's it's going to be an outstanding event, not to be missed event so let your friends and family know who are around Dallas area to participate in that event we want it to be a grand success any other announcements you want to make before we get started I see about 30 participants so we can give a few more minutes before we get started with the game let's get close to yoga. 40 yoga teachers training yes, right. yes so we have yoga teachers training going to start as well. Maybe we can share the screen for a bit while people can continue to join. You want to sh share something? Share the screen? Mm -hmm. I guess Rahulji can just announce about it. You can announce yeah, it. So it's the link as well. Rahul. Yeah, he'll, yeah, we can put it in the chat as well. So actually, uh, the, if, you, if you want to become an international certified yoga teacher, then there is an option here for the online format here. And the fall term starts from September 15th to October 24th. And this can actually enable you to improve your physical health. And you can start teaching yoga as, a, as your profession. And if you want to enhance your spiritual life, this is also one of the good opportunities. So this is the online platform where we can learn the Prem Yoga and starts from September 15th and everything is in online format. So I will post the link shortly in the chat where you can see and register for it. Right. And it's Devi Ji who's our lead instructor and she's a very fantastic instructor. Instructor. Typically it's uh, uh, in person. This is the first time they are going to do it online virtually. So it's a great opportunity to uh, get certified and it is Prem Yoga. You know, yoga with a difference. Because the gods' names and, and the, the focal point of all the meditations and all the things that you do in your breathing, you are going to invoke God's name. It's, it's a beautiful way of uh, getting yoga into your routine, get certified and also get a good orientation on the yoga of the heart, Okay, where Prem aspect is uh, the focal point throughout the program. Okay, so today we have, what happened? We had 30 and now it has become 29. If you have, session has dropped off, please say it out because we will be starting in about, about 30 seconds now. 
So, Russian, your entry is last minute rush. So, we can get in, okay? Let's not miss out on this opportunity. Very nice. I think we can make it to 40. A lot of we have, a, we have a participant with the name Gumnam. Gumnam. Gumnam, okay. <laughs> I see some interesting things here. But yeah, all are welcome to play. Chotu is also there, which is nice. So, <laughs> Um, everybody is welcome to participate. Let's open the chat in case you know you're not able to play through Kahoot. You can always put in your remarks. But let's get started. All the best to all the participants. The countdown starts: five, four, three, two, one. All the best. And towards the end of the session, time permitting, we'll talk about the concept as well. Okay, like we always do. Today's soul soup segment is not there, but we'll utilize this opportunity to talk about something if if time permits. Right. Now, 38 participants, that is amazing, okay? We could have probably touched 40 or 45 probably, but maybe next time. So let's get started then. All the best to all the participants. Game on. I see Sandhya Ji's name also, yeah. So probably she's also playing, yeah. All right. Let's get started then. I see a cricketer already, okay. 091523. Hey, this is the right one, right, Rahul? Okay, good. Okay, according to Bhagavad Gita verses 5.1 and 2, which path can lead us to the supreme goal? Karam Sanyas, Karam Yog, both, neither. It is a very, very difficult question to begin with. It's an easy one, of course. So let's see who remembers it and who gets it right. Which path or which paths? I don't know. So the answer is both. Some people said Karam Yog. So you got it partially right. Karam Yog and Karam Sanyas can lead us to the Supreme Goal. That's the right answer. You know, interestingly, I was. Um, I used to play tennis and I'm, I still catch up on tennis even though Federer has retired now. But Djokovic, he created, he equaled history by winning his 24th Grand Slam and equaling the record of Margaret Court. Okay. Now, the interest, one of the interesting things he said was that uh, last year when he was chasing that record, that record was playing on his mind. So he got ahead of it. And I was mapping it to Bhagavad Gita. He got attached to the result. He said that was weighing on my mind, the history of the record that, oh my God, I'm going to have this shot at history. And he started getting ahead of him in the game and he lost. And he said this this year, he did not think about the result. He just focused on the process, the, the same ritual routines that he would follow before a match. And he kept it simple. And in fact, his support team, including his wife and everybody, they were briefed not to talk about the match and the history expectation that comes along with it. That is how he did the mental preparation. Now, is it perfect Karam Yoga? I don't know. But at least he's aligning to that aspect of it, not thinking about the result, focus on the process. And because of that, even his celebration towards the end was muted that I have to you know, surpass my record. So the Karam Yoga principle, how it helps in performance, you can actually see in so many people how to say that. Even the sportsmen, right? They tap into that aspect of it on focusing on the process without getting too far ahead of you in whatever you are doing. So the right answer is both. Let me share my screen as well. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, what did I do? Okay. Yes. So if you look at it, both Karam Yoga and Karam Sanyas lead to the same uh, supreme goal. So with that said, let's go back to the next question and let's see who takes the first position. Mira Bai. Mm. Isa is second. David, good going. Um, Saiji is playing good and Govinda is there. It's a pretty close race. I think everybody got it right, but Mira Bai was super fast today. Let's move on to the next question. How many potencies can be gained by practicing spirituality? Okay, it's related to the session. I think we spoke about a bit of a memory test for you guys. Let's see. Maybe in the chat, people are putting in. Then please put in your chat is open for all. So yes, you can. 
I would encourage everybody to participate over the chat. If otherwise, and if you look at the chat, you will lose some time, but at least you'll get audience poll. So do it at your own risk. So the answer is, it's a slider. I think it's Rahul's favorite question, you know, slider question. The answer is four. And how many people got it right, if at all? Let's check that. I think only 10 got right. 10 got right? Okay. So quickly look at the concept. I think I showed briefly. Oops. Yeah. Four potencies we spoke about in our session. The Ichha Shakti, the power of desire, the power of knowledge, the part of act and empowerment. All these Shaktis, uh, those potencies are harnessed when you start progressing spiritually, right? Through knowledge. Gyan Agni Dadd. Gyan Agni Dadd Karvanam. So when you start doing that because of Gyan Agni, all these powers start getting harnessed in you. Now let's see who got it right the fastest after this question. This was a bit of a trick question more relying on the memory. Pisa has displaced Mirabai. Ravi Das and real Nitin K. Okay. <laughs> Nitin K has made an entry. Okay, let's see for how long it stays. And Govinda is playing well as well. Good. Good going. Let's move on to the next question. This is a multi-select. A double pointer to Lord Krishna declared that dash is superior to dash. Hmm. Now, this is a trick question. You need to know the concepts. Hmm. It's an interesting one. Oh no. A real Nitin K is going to mess up, I guess, this question. So there are two answers which are right. Let's see how many. 10 of you got it right. See, 35 of you under time pressure went with the first one. But if you, because it was a multi-select, you have to look at all the options. Karam Yoga and Karam Sanyasa is the right answer. However, a Karam is same as Karam Yoga. So that makes it a bit tricky. Of, of course, people who went for speed, you should have looked, it's a multi-select as well. So whoever got it right, congratulations. Yes, Sandhya, you had a uh, you had a doubt on this? No doubt. I am seeing some of us are playing in the chat. You should be reading that at some times, no? No? Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go ahead. You can read it. Yeah, there is mixed response. I mean, Madhuji says one, as I think many people did say. Yes, uh, then uh, A and D, and they have idea Madhuji saying Karam does. Yes, I think okay, it's both. So, yes, Madhuji, one is right, but since it is a multi select, four is also right. Now, the key thing here to understand is that Karam Yoga and Akaram both are same. And that is why our quiz master has put for the one choice because he knows people will go for speed, but then he has put the fourth choice also so that you are reading through all the choices. Good way of framing a question. All right. Let's see what happens after this question to the leaderboard. I like that question. Okay. Meera Bhai is top. Pyare Mohan has made it entry. Sam is on third. Govinda and Pisa. Okay. Very nice. Good going. Let's keep reading the chat as well. Awesome. So let's move on to our next question now. It is which one was your favorite character during the recently concluded Janmashtami Leela at Radha Krishna Temple? Okay, it's a non-graded question, so you can breathe easy. Which was your favorite character? Maybe you can keep it one minute. I've... The ones with word cloud, that's fine. 30 seconds is good enough. Now, uh, Janmashtami Leela, I hope nobody is going to say Hanuman in that, okay? You can type your answer in the chat also if you are not able to. You can type your answers in the chat as well. Let's see. Dushasan, Krishna, Draupadi, 
Krishna is an overwhelming favorite. So I think we have both Krishna and Draupadi here. We have Krishna as well. Draupadi I can see. Okay. Great. And then Radha Krishna, Bal Krishna, Nanda Nandan, Krishna by Seema, Sin. Sin. It has GH is missing. And Draupadi is second favorite. So good. Great queen. I'm glad there is there are no Ramayan characters here. So that means you are paying attention to the question and you have seen the Leela as well. That's very nice. Let's move on to our next question. What is the common factor between Karam Yoga and Karam Sanyas? It's a technical question. Should be an easy one, I guess. The real Nitin K has to make a comeback very soon now. Okay. So the right answer is they both require mind engaged in the service of God and Guru. So let's do a quick recap of this concept. Right. So we see that when we have to perform action, Karam Yogi, he performs spiritual duties and social duties. One who does both. Social duties are done with the body and while the mind is attached to God. That is the key thing for a Karam Yogi. And Karam Sanyas, basically the social duties are given a pass. And Karam Sanyas is who discards social duty due to complete, absor complete absorption in God and engages entirely in the performance of spiritual duties, devotional service to God. So in both the cases, the key concept is your mind has to be absorbed in God and Guru. This is the common denominator between the two things. So let's see who all got it right. And if it shakes anything in our leaderboard, Mirava is top. Pisa is playing well. Pyare, Mohan, Govinda and Sam. Okay, so seeing a bit of a shakeup happening with a few questions. So I hope the concept is clear. Any Anything interesting on the chat? Nanda Nandan Govar. Okay, nothing. Nobody, I think, answered this one too much. But yeah, you are welcome to put it in the chat in case uh, you are not playing live on Kahoot. And Ravi, Ravi Dasji has the highest answer streak of four. Yeah, that is showing. Ravi Dasji. Good, good going, Ravi Dasji. Uh, your uh, disciple is at the top, Ravi Dasji, Mirabai. Right. So you are the guru of Mirabai and you should be happy. Your disciple is doing better than you at least till, till this point. All right, let's move on. And I'm very disappointed with Nitin, real Nitin K not playing good today. No, no, should be in top 10 at least. Okay, let's move on. So imagine that we are feeding lunch to Kanha. In this case, dash is Pryoja Karta and dash is Pryoja Karta. Okay, it's a good technical question again. Pryoja Karta and Pryoja Karta. What kind of a question is it? Kavita is saying. Very nice. You are feeding lunch to Kana. Let's say you are feeding to. See, end of the day, Kana himself is both, right? He's giving the energy. But let's understand this question from a you know, session discussion standpoint, Priyoje Karta and Priyoje Karta. So, it's like, who is the doer? In the hand and the tongue example, right? The hand is the energizer and tongue is doing it. Or it's like the electricity is coming and the fan is running. Or you can put that electricity to any use, right? So, who is the inspirer and who is the... Who's providing the energy and who's using the energy? That is a key concept here. Prayojak karta is one who provides the energy. God is the prayojak karta. So he's the facilitator. And prayojak karta is one who utilizes that energy. Now, hand spoon we are looking at here, right? So let's see who got it right. So it is a bit technical question, but a good one too. 
So spoon is the priyoje and priyoje karta is the hand. Spoon in itself does not have the energy. Hand gives the energy and then it goes to the kanha's mouth. Now if I go a little more technical, who's providing energy to the hand, right? But yeah, in this particular case, hand becomes right. So let's look at it, who got it right. Good questions, Rahul. Govinda, Mirawai has been displaced. Sam is on fire and Jai Ma Kali has made a very dramatic entry. Okay, whoever Jai Ma Kali is. Pyare Mohanji is doing good as well. And 11 players have reached an answer streak of three. So good going. Let's move on. Jai Ma Kali, I, your entry was the most dramatic one. Okay, so you loved it. Let's move on to the next question. Next is detachment is not that you should own nothing, but nothing should own you. It's a, it emphasizes the importance of material possessions. All right, so need to accumulate wealth. Promotes the idea of owning everything. I think it should hopefully be easy. We'll see. Okay, so hmm, majority. Now, one said it emphasizes the importance of material position. It doesn't. I think maybe some speed pressure here, but majority got it right. In fact, all of you got it right, with the exception of one. So, yes, it underscores the importance of non attachment to worldly things. So, you can own a car or a house, but if it starts owning you, if you are building attachment and then you're thinking, oh my God, my house, my car, my this, my that then it becomes a problem. But then the thing starts owning you. Same thing happens when people start smoking or drinking. First, they they start with that and then those things start owning them. Right? They say, okay, I'm calling you now. I need you basically. And then you start falling for it. So yeah, owning thing is uh, not at all bad as long as the things don't start owning you. Uh, but invariably, we fall for that trap. So it was a relatively easy question. Let's see what happens to our leaderboard. Jema Kali has moved on. Saiji has been has made his entry as well. Sam is there. Mirabai and Govinda Ji. Doing very good. Very nice. Five places up is Jai Shri Krishna is the highest climber. So good going, Jai Shri Krishna. Um, Mirabai is playing well today. Very good. Arrange the tiles in descending order, level of motivation. It's a good one. Descending order. Top to bottom. Welcome to put it in chat too. Now, there are calls to ban Rahul Bhiya also, okay, for the questions he's made. <laughs> All right. So, the right is uh, offer fruits of the work to God, detached from fruits, and then self-enjoyment. So let's understand this concept. Go back to the drawing board here. Now, self-enjoyment is at the lowest level. If we are working only for our own pleasure, it at the lowest level. Now, the question was descending order, right? So, if you go back, it, it is at the last level. So, the first is offer fruits of the work to God, detach from fruits and dedicate their work to a higher cause uh, is the second one. And then the third one is who offer fruits to God are truly in knowledge. So, this is the topmost one, right? So, self-enjoyment is the least as we understand. Higher cause, of course, is better. And then people who offer their fruits to God are truly in knowledge. So this is the hierarchy, how it goes. Now, the interesting thing is, um, you know, when we talk about the concept of Karam Yoga, how do you offer the fruit to God? I mean, it's not a straightforward thing. How would you? I mean, can you build that consciousness right from the word go, hey, I'm going to do this coding and I'm doing it for God. Or I'm going to do this, you know, particular experiment and I'm going to do it for God. It's not straightforward to do that. 
And that is why it is recommended when you earn, you start giving 10% away. That will say, okay, the fruits of what I got from what I was doing, then it will start building that consciousness. Right? So when you start offering it to God, then slowly, gradually, but surely that consciousness will start building that the fruit that I am earning is not, not only for me because you start offering it to God to start with. And then gradually that consciousness will deepen and you'll start understanding that you're actually working for the pleasure of God only. But the starting point is to start parting with 10% of what you rightfully earn to God. And that is the concept of seva as well, right? Um, uh, now you're aligning to the higher principle of becoming an eternal, uh, what you call a profitable servant of God. You start aligning to that principle because if you don't do seva, then that nishkamta won't come and then when you start getting spiritual suk, it will be even more difficult to, for you to let go of it. So that self-seeking nature will always persist with us. We are self-seeking. And when we go to God, there also we are self-seeking. But selflessness would start coming in. The fundamentals will start, um, you know, you can start building the fundamentals when you start engaging in self, the, the seva or service to God because you are not getting anything in return. You don't get paid for that. So that's a good way to build those sanskars. Okay, sweet. This question might shake up the leaderboard. I have a feeling. Let's see. All right. Mirabai is back. Sam is second. Govinda has been displaced. Sai Ramji, Sai Ji. Hopefully, I don't know Sai Ramji or not. And Ravi Das has made the entry here. Yes, Sandhya, you wanted to read somebody's response? Yeah. Uh, Keshav Ji is saying debatable. Debatable? Which, this question? I guess the response to this question, maybe. Right. I don't know. We can, we, can, we can talk about it after this, so sure. Now let's move on. Self-enjoyment is of course, Bhagavatam says those people are crippled miserly who just engage for self-devotion, uh, self-gratification alone. Yesterday we said, right, service is the rent one has to pay for the home they get here on earth. So that is the very first concept. Okay. Uh, so um, anyways, we can come back to that question. If there's some more discussion needed. Now, ninth question is a double pointer. It can again, being attached to an action is recommended by Sri Krishna. We made it a double pointer. Hopefully it's going to be an easy one. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 10. 10 of seats said 10 is true. 27 of you said false. The false is the right answer. Let's look at the four tenets of Karam Yoga. So these are the four principles or tenets of Karam Yoga. So if you look at it, do not be attached to an action. And the fourth one is talking about do not be attached to inaction very clearly. Lord Krishna is saying that inaction is, first of all, nobody can be without any action, right? Every thought is a karma. But inaction, some people think if they are not making decisions, they are procrastinating it, just being lazy or running away from duties, all that inaction is construed as an inaction which is condemned by Lord Krishna. Don't do that. And this is the fourth principle of uh, Karam Yoga. Let's see who all got it right. It was an easy one, I would say. Sam got displaced for some reason. Is this called time pressure? No, speed pressure, right? This is an easy one. Uh, Sai Ramji has come back. Govinda. David has make, made a comeback to the leaderboard. So good going, David. And Jaima Kali. Awesome. Yes, uh, Sandhya, you wanted to read somebody? Real Nitin K is making a comeback with three in a row. How can you not read that? <laughs> yes, he's making a comeback. So, too late, too little. I hope that's not the case because we still have something to play for. So, we can get into the leaderboard. I'd be interested to see maybe the top 10 or 15 today. Okay. Any other thing? Any chat anybody has put in? Can we ban Rahul Bhiya also, please? I think we should do that. Okay, Rahul, yes, not even playing. 
Okay, absolutely false was right. Let's move on to the next question. 10. It's a multi-select, okay? This, which Leela is not depicted in the picture below? Hmm, not is the keyword. Oh my God, David. You have to read the question. It's not. <laughs> yeah, so it is Govardhan. The answer is not. Right, so, so all three were, uh, it's not Damodar Leela, it's not Putna killing, it's not Makhanjuri Leela, it is Damodar Leela. I see, so I can get it. We, we go for speed, but accuracy is even more important than speed in this one. So yes, it is Govardhan Leela, but the answer was not was the key. Um, so yes, it's a beautiful Leela of Lord Krishna. And believe, you know, his friends were actually thinking that uh, he's being a free rider. He's not doing anything at all. And it's only them who are struggling to, you know, keep the mountain balance through their sticks and all that stuff. You know, in India, you've seen those when people lift something heavy, they say Jor Lagake, Haisha and all that stuff they do. And there are some free riders who are just putting on an act, showing, but not doing anything. So they were thinking that, you know, at least people he could have, he could have had the courtesy of showing that he's trying to help us out. He's not even doing that, you know, just putting a small finger and happily standing there. So that is the impression his friends had until they saw Indra come and bow down in his you know, footsteps. And he, they did not even know Indra, but there were some scholarly people in the village who recognized it's Indra. And then they said, oh my God, this is who our friend is. And then with his yoga, Maya, he made them forget. So that was Kovardhan Leela. But the question is, which one is not? So the three other three are the correct ones. So Rahul, you've understood how to spice up the quizzes now, which is good going. Now, let's see if I got it right and what does it do, do to the leaderboard. I'm sure a lot of people would have stories until this question on what happened, right? Let's see. Okay, we'll see towards then because now we have a question. Uh, Swamiji's East Coast Retreat will be held in which city of USA? All right, this is a good question. You need to know and you need to plan for your travel tickets or whatever. Let's see that. Yeah, you need to move the image to drop the pin on a particular city, which is shown in the map. Right. And in the previous question, Madhuji also answered Govardhan Leela. So probably she didn't read the not in that not question. Not was the key. You have to read it very carefully. Yeah, the the guess is, uh, the clue is that it is something uh, you use to take bath. Okay, you help use basically to take bath. Okay, the place name. In Hindi, yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah. Yes, it's, uh, it's in Baltimore, I guess, right? Yes, correct, yeah. Baltimore. So check out if you can make it. That will be awesome. Um, so that is going to be the last retreat before Swamiji uh, heads back to India and then people in India can look forward to the retreats and, and spending time with him there. So now is the time to check out on the final results and see who all have the podium finish. The third second runner-up is Ravi Das. Wonderful. The second is Sai Ji, and the first one is, who's this? Mirabai. Wonderful. So let's uh, have, and then Govinda, and one more. We can, we can call the top five to come over and talk about it. Um, who is uh, Mirabai, Sai, and Ravidas Ji? Please uh, come over and share your experience. You would like to put faces to names and see who have been playing as I had anticipated they are going to be new winners today and very glad to see we have some new faces new people who have 
shown up on the podium today. So who was Mirabai? You can send your name in the chat also. If you, you can, can send your name in the chat. We'd like to know about you. Nishkam Seva is fine, but in here we need to know about your name. Okay. <laughs> Who's Mirabai? Ravidas, Mirabai and Sai. If you can please uh, raise your hand, speak up. That will be good. Okay. One of them is Prabhat. Yes, go, go ahead, Prabhat. Oh, Ravidas. Well played, Ravidas. Did you enjoy the quiz? Did you get the Govardhan question right? Well played, well played, Prabhat. Yeah, I got that. Uh, Wonderful. It was really good, and he has made every time he used to make it perfectly. So I think it is from Well played, well played today. Great. And then Sai, is it Sai Ramji or was it you, Sai Ramji? We'd like to know who was Meera by today. Yes, Sai Ramji. So, Rade. Rade. all grace of God. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> I okay. used to come last before. I used to be first from last. <laughs> you played well. You played well. Really played well. So, how was the quiz? You want to share your experience around that? It's good. It's very tough. This time also, it was tough. It was tough. Yeah, but it's good. Keep it this way. Then we get to learn. <laughs> yeah, our quiz master is uh, making sure we all are forced to raise our game around it. So, good job. A very well-balanced quiz, Rahul. So, I must um, thank you for preparing quiz. You know, very nice, balanced quiz covering Tattogyan and at the same time making it interesting for all of us. So, thank you, Rahul, for that. Thank you, Ji. Thank you. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. And who's Mirabai? No? Nobody's talking about Mirabai. I don't know. Maybe you can. Okay. All right. Govind. Who was Govind? I think Govind or Jama Kali. I think they were fourth and fifth, I believe. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Ji. Riyaji, was it you? Which one was you? Yeah, Radhe Radhe Titanji. I was Govinda. Oh, you were going there. You played well, Riyaji. Congratulations. You were in the uh, record till the last question. So that was really well played. I must say that. The questions were too, too tricky and uh, it was very good way of, you know, revising the concepts. I loved it. Rahulji is playing. Uh, though he's not playing, the way that he frames the question is, I have no words. Awesome. Yes. Good job, Rahul. I must say that. Yes, very true. Samji, were you, did you drop because of one of the questions, Samji? Was it, you were at the second spot at one time, I believe. Uh, Radhe, Radhe, yes, yeah, that's a stupid, uh, fourth tenant. I was in a hurry, I put the wrong one. Yeah, and there is no way to, you can correct it immediately, it was too late. I get it. <laughs> and now I am thinking that how stupid I can be, that is, the most important 2.47 after the four tenets. But, <laughs> can be <laughs> but yeah, well played. I think that one question did the trick. Otherwise, you were playing really well today. So great. But yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty competitive. We have like very enthusiastic bunch of participants here, and they they don't give you an inch as well. And by the way, real Nitin K was playing well as well. That was me. But I couldn't match up okay when the race got hotter. It just was much beyond me after that. So, but next time we'll promise to do it better than this one. Now let's let me guess Sandhya. You wanted to add something? Let me share something. I wanted to uh, talk about. There is a comment from Shama Shamji. Very beautiful framing of questions. Yeah, I agree. It was very nicely done. I also agree. It was excellent. You checked the concepts were checked and the fun element was there, you spiced it up and it, it was very nice. So you have become our Siddharth Basu now, okay? Siddharth Basu of Daily Wisdom from Bhagavad Gita. I oh. missed one four seven so many times with my friends, in the general general friendship, friends and all those things. Mm -hmm. And the same fourth tenant immediately <laughs> got out of the two or false confusion. Right, right, right. So I hope now we'll not forget Akaram and Karam Yogi is same, right? There were two answer choices. That was a good one. 
So today, let's anybody else who wants to share their experience or talk about it. Yeah, there is a comment in the chat from David G that let me not get attached to the quiz format. <laughs> It'll settle down, David. You play you were playing well, I think, until that question came. So you you were pretty much in the reckoning before the podium finish today. And some yeah. of our participants, I think, had connectivity issues, like Pallavi ji is mentioning after fourth question, she started facing connectivity issues. So yeah, that is what Prarabh is okay. So now let me <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, Shyama Sham ji, uh, were you Shyama Sham? Were you? Uh, but we would like to know who was Meera by today. But never mind. If not, so be it. Shyama Sham ji, please go ahead. You wanted to say something. Radhe Radhe, Radhe Radhe Nitin ji. Radhe Radhe. Manju here. I kept my name Shama Sham. So okay. like I knew I knew four answers correctly, but somehow I uh, I don't know why I pressed by mistake earlier speed or something. I just missed four even though I knew it. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Questions were very nice actually. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you liked it. So, but yeah, well played. Yeah. Thank you for participating and enthusiastically participating and providing. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Tarunji, you wanted to say something. Yeah, are they, are they? yeah, so this is my favorite topic and the, and uh, this is the one of, I think, uh, best uh, session or the series I have gone through, I think I told earlier. So I was planning to play it well, but I got in Dharam Sankar today. So basically my wife needs to be dropped. It was raining. So I uh, Dharam Sankar. Yeah, whenever so, there is three a... Three earlier, first four or five question I was <laughs> Dharam Sankar. So higher Dharam. <laughs> so whenever but, there so, is yeah, a questions. conflict in between Dharma of uh, between wife and Kahoot, wife takes precedence. Okay. So. <laughs> yes. yes, but yeah. Uh, topic, presentation and this... Uh, this quiz all are perfect. So good. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the feedback. All credit goes to the wonderful mm -hmm. team that we have and Rahul who puts in a lot of time and effort for that. Yes, Rahul, go ahead. There is an interesting comment in the chat also. Even our Lord Krishna from the Leela, Aka Laddu, also had connectivity issues. So... Oh, okay. Hmm. That's okay. Connectivity we can't do much about. So let's move on. I wanted to touch upon a quick concept um, because we didn't have a soul soup today. So here were some seeds and some of these seeds, you know, all are looking the same, but they are different. Okay, technically they are different. But some of the seeds, they, they grew within five to six months, which are fern seeds, right? If you put in those, sprinkle those seeds and they will spread like a wildfire. And then some of the seeds, the other ones were basically bamboo seeds. And for five years, nothing happened. But then after five years, suddenly they just shot up 100 feet within six months. So the spiritual investment that we are making, it's not like an instant coffee or an instant noodle. These things, when we keep on working on those, you know, even when we keep on listening to this divine knowledge, it is doing some trick in your head. You may not instantly realize it, but over a period of time, when it will start bearing results like this bamboo, you will remind, you know, you will see the version you started off with and the version of your, you know, yourself, the present version, there's a big delta, big change. And that is how invariably this knowledge manifests. So I would say continue, uh, you know, have that consistency and keep reading stuff, keep contemplating on it and uh, keep participating in these satsangs and then it will do wonders. It's a bit like this, right? Uh, you know, there are puppies, you know, the gestation period for dogs is about 60 days. So, and for an elephant is about 645 days, close to two years, close to two months. So this uh, dog, uh, you know, female dog, she was pregnant and so was the elephant. And then the female dog had produced about 10 puppies while she asked the elephant, you know, uh, the big the female elephant, are you really pregnant or not? He said, you know, it, it takes a long time to get a baby elephant out because when it will come out, it will shake the earth. 
So similarly, the quick things that we normally want in life, this is not how it works. And things which sahaj pake so meetha hoy, right? They say, so things that go at its own pace and especially the spiritual things because first we have to understand the concept and we have to contemplate on it, make it part of our system and then start implementing it. It takes time, but when it manifests, the leap that you would take or the product that will come out of it, it is going to be magnificent, something really grand. And that is the power of spiritual knowledge. So we got to be patient around it and we got to have consistency around it. And then what will come out or what will fructify is going to be something really glorious. All right. Any questions on the quiz or otherwise? I think Keshav, you had a debatable one of the questions you said it's debatable, so we'd love to hear on that. Or anything related to this topic that we just spoke about. Before we get into our devotional segment, we still have a little bit of time to take any questions that you may have on, on the quiz or otherwise. Pin drop silence, I heard a pin drop. I lost connectivity, okay. Feedback tracker, please do fill in the feedback tracker. Um, we are going to continue on our journey on chapter four from Sunday evening onwards. So um, now we have a couple of days break. So just wanted to call that out. Yes, Prabhat, you had a question. Yeah, I want to ask what is the difference between uh, transparent and current use? Can you elaborate it? Difference between Karam Yog and Akhar. There's no difference. It is another name. It is another name for Karam Yoga. Karam is another a Karam is another name for Karam Yoga. Like uh, Seema is another name for Lord, right? So it's the same thing. Right? That is why okay, so is there any logic for different names? Like... Yeah, it's just a different name. Akaram means the karam which which is non-binding and karam yoga is essentially the same akaram and karam yoga both are the same thing yes sandhya um just wanted to uh, announce this as well that there is an app for bhagavad gita so it's a user friendly thing that all of us can use and i started using it from yesterday and i really like it it's you know very easy to access to all the shlokas and chapters and that too, Swamiji's commentary. So the Bhagavad Gita song of God, the one that we are reading in the session as well. So I have shared the link in the chat. So you are all free to um, explore it and download it and use it. Yeah. Very slick app. Do check it out. Very nice. I've shared the one for uh, Apple devices, but there is an Android version as well. You should be able to find it. Thanks for yeah. sharing. Thank you. Yes, Rahul. Yeah, I, I think... Keshav ji. Yes, Keshav. Radhe, Radhe, Keshav ji. Yeah, Radhe, Radhe. I was waiting. I mean, like, I will not get able to unmute. Yeah, the question is, there are three shlokas, which has, two shlokas and one story has come to my mind. Karmanev adhika raste ma fal heshu kadacha. And the other is, Brahman adhai karmani sangam te katva kroti yaha. And the story is like we all know about Jad Bharat. Hiran ka bacha pala at the last breath. He was in the, his mind was Hiran and he had to go another life. So likewise, what I wrote debatable was that we should not look for karam phala. We should detach even while doing the karma for God. That was the key which I wanted to. For that reason, I said it is debatable. Okay. When, okay. when we are thinking of offering the fruits of the work, so our attachment is still, mind is focused on fruits of work, which should not be there. Sorry, Radhe Radhe. Okay. Okay. In that sense, you are saying, yeah. I think it's a journey. So it starts with uh, um, parting with part of the bhog that we have get, not the fruit that we get by parting with it and that helps build that consciousness. So when we talk about the uh, offering to God, there are three things we can offer to God. Dhan, Tan, Man, Tan, Dhan and Man. 
and dhan is at the lowest level you start with that and then the other two will follow uh, but yeah it's a bit of a journey uh, we have to give up even the desire for the fruit of you know our results but we you know start to start off with to offer it at least 10% of it we'll start building that consciousness and finally of course you don't you just leave it to god anything and everything that you have but if somebody has to start who has always been tuned to enjoying everything for themselves what is the best way to start the best way to start then will learn to part with part you know part of your earnings then you will start building that consciousness and gradually what you are talking about is a perfect state yeah thank you thank you uh, keshav ji all right anybody else had any other questions or things they wanted to share or talk about anybody new who's there new to the sessions we have not spoken about would love to know about you uh, please do fill out the feedback tracker otherwise we can move on to our devotional segments uh, a little quicker today we have a couple of days break after this one anybody who wants to chat today maybe a couple of lines and then we can take that otherwise we can wrap it quicker as well yes kavita chicky how was the game what were you what was your name that you i played? want to check your score oh you want to check my score yes rahul can you pull up the score yeah we can send you later or i mean we can show top 15 if everybody wants to see that yeah or let you can see. show top 20 <laughs> let me let me pull up the report hold on if you want we can do that right now okay i'm going to report options download report download all right i'm going to show it right away if that's what you wanted to see totally not you got to be a little patient and also i have thing to do which one she will sing today also okay all right so first of all let me open the the report today final scores are you able to see the screen not yet then you should be able to see it now are you able to see it now yes okay mirabai sai ji ravidas govinda pizza who is pizza Jayma Kali KM David you were eighth real Nitin K was ninth top hmm. ten top ten that is quite an improvement from twenty one Jay Maruti Gumnam Radhe Radhe Sam Ji thirteenth Hills T P S R Jikyasu Hope Vivek H P Krishnam Bansuri V K somebody played with Sandhya Bharti and you were twenty sixth okay. Shama Shama Ji, happy, pyare Mohan, Bumble Bee, Pooja, Rupa Vinod did not do well today, and real Nitin Kaushya. Oh my God, that is forty fourth. Top, top from bottom is me, real Nitin Kaushya. Chotu has done better than me. Okay, he's on forty to forty second. All right, I hope you got the scores now. Prashasti Ji, you had a question? Yes, please go ahead. No, I did not have a question. I just wanted to sing a bhajan <laughs> in the okay. devotion. Yeah. Right. Sure, we have got three hands for bhajan, and maybe I can sing a couple of lines. Let's move to our devotional segment. You are welcome to stay back for our final segment uh, before we break for a little bit of a break. Yes, go ahead, Chicky. Okay, Radhe Radhe, everyone. So the song is by Rahul Datta. वृंदवनी ये कहानी तेरी कन्हैया बाबर थी तेरी मेरा जाने दुनिया वृंदवनी ये कहानी तेरी कन्हैया बाबर थी तेरी मेरा जाने दुनिया मेरा के मन में तू ही कन्हैया मेरा के मन में तू ही कन्हैया राधा के तो दल में बसे तू ही कन्हैया रंगी तेरे प्रेम रंग सारी गोपिया राधा के तो दल में बसे तू ही कन्हैया रंगी तेरे प्रेम रंग सारी गोपिया मेरा के मन में तू ही कन्हैया 
मेरा के मन में तू ही कन्हैया चाहत मन की तुझ में मिलन की मोहन कैसे तू मिले हर एक सास के गाते गाते नाम तेरा ही लिखे मेरा हो गई दीवानी खुद से बेगानी सुबह शाम बस तेरी ही प्रीत में मगन मिलने को तुझ से मेरा जोगन बनी प्रेम बावरी का दर्द जाने तुम्हें मिलने को तुझ से मेरा जोगन बनी प्रेम बावरी का दर्द जाने तुम्हें मेरा के मन में तुम्हें कन्हैया मेरा के मन में तुम्हें कन्हैया वृंदावनी ये कहानी तेरी कन्हैया बाबरी थी तेरी मेरा जाने दुनिया मेरा के मन में तुम्हें कन्हैया मेरा के मन में तुम्हें कन्हैया वेरी नाइस चिकी ब्यूटीफुल loved it thank you for coming back on the singing base loved it thank you so much let's hear prashasti ji new hand and then sandhya and then tarun ji i see a new hand prashasti yeah. go ahead radhe radhe this is a very popular bhajan nothing new but it's just one of my favorites so i'll sing it's sri krishna govind hari murari श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरि मुरारी हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरि मुरारी हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा एक मात स्वामी सखा हमारे एक मात स्वामी सखा हमारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारी हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा बंदी ग्रह की तुम अवतारी कहीं जन्मे कहीं पले मुरारी बंदी रहे तुम अवतारी कहीं जन्मे कहीं पले मुरारी किसी के किसी के कहा है अद्भुत हर बात तुम्हारी गोकुल में चमके मथुरा के तारे गोकुल में चमके मथुरा के तारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारी हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा अधर पे बंसी हृदय मेरा धे बट गए दोनों मिया धारे अधर पे बंसी हृदय मेरा धे बट गए दोनों मिया धे आधे हे राधा हे भक्त वत्स सदैव भक्तों के काम साधे वही गए वही गए वही गए जहा गए पुकारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारी हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारी हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेवा 
हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव वेरी वेरी नाइस प्रशस्ति जी यू फर्स्ट टाइम यू आर सॉन्ग हियर राइट जी फर्स्ट टाइम या यू मेड अ स्मैशिंग डेब्यू आई मस्ट से दैट थैंक यू इन वेल यू शुड सिंग मोर ऑफन यू अटेंड रेगुलरली प्रशस्ति जी आई नो वी मेड इन द टेंपल राइट जी आप आई मिस्ड योर क्वेश्चन do you attend regularly the sessions uh, because yes i attend regularly but most of the time i forget to uh, you know fill in that attendance track no, <laughs> but no. i attend regularly yeah so good to see you um okay. face to face on the session and you should sing more often you sang very well thank you so much for that thank you love that very nice all right so next then sandhya go ahead and we have tarun ji give me राधे अल बेली सरकार रटी जा राधे राधे हो राधे अल बेली सरकार रटी जा राधे राधे 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 तेरो जन्म सफल हो जाए रटी जा राधे राधे जो राधे राधे गावे सो प्रेम पदारत पावे जो राधे राधे गावे सो प्रेम पदारत पावे पावे मंडल रास बिहार रटी जा राधे राधे शिव गोपी भीष बनायो वृंदावन रास रचायो शिव गोपी भीष बनायो वृंदावन रास रचायो बंशी बट में कियो बिहार रटी जा राधे राधे जो राधे नाम न ना हो तो तो कृष्ण बिचारो रो तो जो राधे नाम न ना हो तो तो कृष्ण बिचारो रो तो अरु नहीं होता प्रेम अवतार रटी जा राधे राधे जिन राधे नाम न ना गायो तिन बिरथा जन्म गवायो जिन राधे नाम न ना गायो तिन बिरथा जन्म गवायो ऐसे जीवन को धिकार रटी जा राधे राधे 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 अल बेली सरकार रटी जा राधे राधे वेरी नाइस संध्या सी व्हेन योर हार्ट हार्ट सिंग्स दिस इज हाउ यू गेट आई फाउंड अ स्पेशल वन ओके सो हार्ट स्टार्ट्स वाइब्रेटिंग एट दैट मोमेंट ब्यूटीफुल भजन लव्ड इट ऑसम थैंक यू तरुण जी प्लीज गो अहेड thank you radha rani bhajan are my favorite so thank you sandhya ji for singing i'll also go along with the same for our kishori ji mm-hmm. please meri vinti ahi hai radha rani kripa barsaye rakhna hai maharani kripa barsaye rakhna hai radha rani कृपा पर साय रखना ओ मेरी विनती यही है राधा रानी कृपा पर साय रखना हे महारानी कृपा पर साय रखना हो मुझे तेरा ही सहारा महारानी मुझे तेरा ही सहारा महारानी चरणों से लिपटाए रखना कृपा बर साय रखना हे महारानी कृपा बर साय रखना 
हो मेरी विनती यही है राधा रानी कृपा बर साय रखना है महारानी कृपा बर साय रखना श्री राधा 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 श्री राधा 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 हो मेरी विनती यही है राधा रानी कृपा बर साय रखना है महारानी कृपा बर साय रखना मोहित भरोसो है तिहारो री किशोरी राधे मोहित भरोसो है तिहारो री किशोरी राधे मोहित भरोसो है तिहारो री किशोरी राधे हो जस अधम तुम ही एक जानत हो जस अधम तुम ही एक जानत और न जानत किशारो री किशोरी राधे और न जान निहारो री किशोरी राधे भुक्ति मुक्त कछु मांगत नाही मुक्ति मुक्ति कछु मांगत नाही अपना जान निहारो री किशोरी राधे अपना जान निहारो री किशोरी राधे पुनि कह रहे अवकाश विषय को पुनि कह रहे अवकाश विषय को चार पदारथ खारो री किशोरी राधे चार पदारथ खारो री किशोरी राधे तुम कृपालु सरकार हमारी तुम कृपालु सरकार हमारी पार करो या मारो री किशोरी राधे पार करो या मारो री किशोरी राधे मेरी विनती यही है राधा रानी कृपा बर साय रखना है महारानी कृपा बर साय रखना छोड़ दुनिया के झूठे नाते सारे किशोरी तेरे दर पे आ गया है महारानी किशोरी तेरे दर पे आ गया ओ मैंने तुमको पुकारा ब्रज रानी मैंने तुमको पुकारा ब्रज रानी जग से बचाए रखना कृपा बर साय रखना है महारानी कृपा बर साय रखना इन सासों की माला पे मैं सदा ही तेरा नाम सिमरू सदा ही तेरा नाम सिमरू हो लगी राधा श्री राधा नाम वाली लगी राधा श्री राधा नाम वाली रटन ये लगाए रखना कृपा बर साय रखना है महारानी कृपा बर साय रखना मेरी विनती यही है राधा रानी कृपा बर साय रखना तेरे नाम के रंग में रंग के मैं डोलू ब्रज गलियन में मैं डोलू ब्रज गलियन में हो कहे चित्र विचित्र श्यामा प्यारी कहे चित्र विचित्र श्यामा प्यारी वृंदावन बसाए रखना कृपा बर साय रखना है महारानी कृपा बर साय रखना मेरी विनती यही है राधा रानी कृपा बर साय रखना है महारानी कृपा बर साय रखना कृपा बर साय रखना राधे राधे सो जी वेरी नाइस इट वाज बेसिकली कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू भजन इन वे सो दिस मेरी विनती यही है राधा रानी फ्रॉम चित्र विचित्र दो भाई हैं वृंदावन में जो एक साथ गाते हैं बहुत अच्छे भजन गाते हैं एंड देन दिस मोहित भरोसा है किश तिहारोही किशोरी राधे ये जो पांच छह लाइन थी कृपालु जी की है चार पदार्थ खारो री किशोरी राधे इसमें जो धर्म मर्थ काम मोक्ष की बात कही उनको भी खारे कह दिया है
So, Monica ji, are you going to sing as well? Thank you so much, Tarun ji. But you will sing Rabbi, after, Rabbi. after I sing, okay? After no. you, okay. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just kidding. I'll say this host this. is actually <laughs> who's hosting. <laughs> host is what host does whatever Nitiji says. The moment he said after I sing, I was muted. Acha <laughs> Tarun ji, Vishnu Devi ki aadhar ladi apne. Oh Vishnu Devi. Okay. Go ahead, yes. please. Okay. Uh, this is just just chatting, uh, Nitin ji. No, no bhajan. <clears throat> Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama Rama Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari Hari Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Very nice, Monica. This was going on, on and off. I think maybe when that frequency is high, it's not picking up the audio, but we got that beautiful Hare Krishna Mahamantra and loved it. Uh, brought in some vibrations in the heart as well. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> we sing a couple of lines now. It's a Maharajji's bhajan. So I'll sing those as well and then we can wrap it up. Lakho mehfil jaha me yuto Teri mehfil si mehfil nahi hai Lakho mehfil jaha me yun to Teri mehfil si mehfil nahi hai Prem me hai sada dena dena Sochna bhi nahi kuch hai lena लेने वाला बड़ा भोला भाला ब्रज के रसिकों में शामिल नहीं है राधे गोविंद गोविंद राधे राधे गोविंद गोविंद राधे Lakho mehfil jaha me yun to Teri mehfil si mehfil nahi hai Okay, alright. Basically it means there are so many mehfils in this world but the one which is yours is unparalleled. And in love, basically one of the lines that I picked up was in love you only have to give, give, give. Not even ask, think about asking for something and that is the sign of true love. So in, basically in Bhakti Mark, the reason we ask, Narendra Maharaj has given this philosophy of Tat Sukh Sukhitvam or doing Seva is because it will help build those sanskars ground up fundamentally. Because as you progress in spirituality, let's say you are Ashtang Yogi, Gyan Yogi, 
or doing some kind of a practice, there is a certain level of bliss you start getting. And when you get attached to that bliss, it's even more difficult to build those sanskars. So then what will happen is you will be bereft of the topmost price of God. It's very difficult to give up even the sattvic sukh. Forget about giving up the higher level of sukhs right there. But when you do seva, when you are building that sanskars, that you know you don't have to ask anything from God. You have to only think about what can I do for you. That mindset, that fundamental, that foundation will hold us in good stead as we keep on building the, uh, you know, the the big, uh, what do you call, imarat in Hindi that they say, right? The big building of our devotion. Great. So thank you again for your enthusiastic participation and a wonderful, engaging uh, session that you all make it. And we have a couple of days break. We'll again meet back on Sunday evening, Monday morning, and we'll start start with our journey on four dot from four dot two two onwards. Sunday, I want to say something. Yeah, one request that every time you please do this concluding version in desert our desert section. I really like like I think you especially when you do this Radhe Govind or any Hari Nam Sagita that just gets me into the rasik aspect i love it so please do that and the entire session uh was beautiful so thank you to everyone and i see something weird on your uh, some slow down thing on your i am very curious on your screen okay my slow down no it's uh, showing slow down okay you know what, what is that? give me a sec so okay hold on yeah, this doesn't go off here. Yeah, you have to click again on that. Then it. Oh, do you see fast? That means. <laughs> but it's not making any difference. It's not making anything slow or fast. But it's, it's just to tell either speed up or fast or stop. Oh, it's a reaction. Oh, yeah. okay. I got it now. Or That's new. Okay. Stop or continue. So got guys... it. Got it. <laughs> okay. So all of us had to slow down that so you had put it is it oh no i don't know i was testing out okay different things i was i found a different kind of vibrational thing. heart yeah this means stop now okay <laughs> anyways so thank you again everyone uh, have a wonderful day great rest of your evening look forward to seeing you on sunday evening monday morning and have a blessed weekend radhe radhe good night good day thank you <laughs>